Okay, so just start off taking off the mirror brackets at the top of the mirror, obviously. So I'm just using ordinary shims here. That's it. Just shims that you would use for a door or anything like that. I just slip them back there. You're going to have to use a lot of them. If you have a light fixture in the way like this one, you might want to remove it. The shims need to be pretty evenly across the whole top of the mirror. Even pressure, I mean. I got two or three pairs of gloves from my father when I was up there uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, I care for them. And if you notice, I'm using a 5-in-1 tool against the uh, wall there to kind of protect the wall from getting scratched up from the hammer. I take it all the way down, we'll double up the shims. So once you get the uh, first set of shims all the way down, just double them up like that and put those in between the other ones that you just tapped down in there. Now one important note that uh, you might want to consider, you might want to get two boxes of shims or two uh, packages of them. I actually ran out of shims on this uh, ordeal here and I didn't have enough, but uh, we still made it work. You'll notice the mirror will start making a tearing sound from behind the mirror. That's a good sign. That means the uh, glue is trying to come loose from the drywall. It's tearing the paper. I'll have to push it back in there. I'll use what I got, and I'll, put, I'll start making three. I wind up tripling up the shims right here, and I ran out. Uh, one other thing to note is, is you might want to wear gloves on this when it gets closer to the end here because uh, if things don't work out, it uh, could be bad. friendly tearing noise anymore. That's it. Hey, there she goes. Mm -hmm. That's about it, guys. They didn't screw the bracket down. Look at all these. <laughs> <laughs>
questions. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.